Bears are universally recognized as one of the most ferocious animals on the planet. One look at their long claws, sharp teeth, and enormous size, and it's easy to see why. They could turn just about anything into a meal. In fact, even the biggest and baddest animals of the animal kingdom are susceptible to falling prey to bear. Suffice to say, the bear is on top of the food chain for a very good reason. So when visitors to the Budapest Zoo in Hungary watched a small crow fall in the water inside the enclosure of a female brown bear named Valley, they could only assume that the predator would turn it into an unexpected snack. The onlookers fell silent as soon as they realized the bird's fate. It frantically flapped its wings in an effort to stay above the water surface. Even if it wasn't eaten by the bear, there was only so much it could do before it risked drowning. Clearly the crow, who soon began to slow down as it bobbed up and down in the water, had suffered an unknown injury and needed some assistance. With its wings completely wet, flying away now seemed highly unlikely. How this crow managed to find its way into the bear's enclosure was one thing, but most knew it was only a matter of time before Valley turned a nice family visit to the zoo into a harrowing National Geographic special. When Valley finally heard the frantic splashing in the water next to her, it seemed to pique her interest. She slowly lumbered over to a nearby rock, which had some meat on it, to get a closer look. Would she be distracted by the food and end up ignoring the bird? Valley ate the food in front of her, and then she switched gears. Onlookers gasped audibly as Valley stepped off the rock and moved closer to the edge of the enclosure's pond. She had definitely seen the struggling crow, and she headed right toward it. At first, Valley seemed confused by the interloper in her pool. Usually when the zookeepers brought her food, it was left in far more convenient places, like the rock she was standing on earlier. This food, however, was different and alive. The tiring crow settled into the corner of the pond, and it was well within arm's reach of the bear at that point. Valley leaned over and began pawing at the bird. All it took was for one heavy strike for her to harm it. Valley leaned deeper over the edge and swiped at the bird with her paw. Was she trying to grab it? Or did she plan to push it under and drown it? Either way, things weren't looking too good for the crow. That's when the bear finally grabbed a hold of the bird. Valley approached the side of the pond, and after first attempting to pull it up with her paw, bit onto the crow's wing and dragged it out of the water, the Budapest Zoo said later after describing the incident. At that point, it appeared as though all hope was lost. While there was a slim chance the bird could have flown from the water, it was now too tired, weak, and wet to escape. It was decidedly in Valley's clutches and its fate was surely sealed, right? But this bird wasn't going to give up without a fight. Just as Valley pulled the little crow from the water, it made one last effort to save its life, and it pecked the hungry brown bear on the nose. Onlookers were nervous to see how Valley would retaliate. She immediately let go of the wing and retired to her apples and carrots, a Budapest Zoo spokesperson explained. Did the crow actually scare Valley away? In fact, the zoo spokesperson believed the bear never planned to make a meal of the little bird, but it was instead just investigating. The female brown bear was probably just curious, they wrote on their website. Still, would the crow survive after an ordeal like that? What the bird didn't realize was that Valley, and most bears, have a taste for fruits and vegetables, even though they love to eat meat. While everyone believed she wanted to make a meal of the bird, Valley actually seemed totally disinterested in doing anything of the sort. After lying on its back for a few moments, the crow suddenly started to come to its senses. Still, it limited its movement. It likely realized that it was in great danger so long as it was stuck in Valley's enclosure. It's unclear who was more shocked by the incident, the crowd or the crow. Once the bird found the strength to stand up, it seemed to look at the bear in disbelief. Did it actually just escape the clutches of a massive hungry bear?